What's up everybody? It's Tom Sylvester coming at you with another video. And in this video, I'm sorry to say, but we have to lay another one to rest. Alright. Noisy Corax has put out his video eight hours ago and he's only got 243 views. Y'all go help him out and give him some views, people. He's trying to get the attention of all the major hedge funds like Doug Sifu and he can't do it with 243 views to a video. Now, this is Noisy Corax's bow down video. Alright, people. He has came out, watched the video, and he says CSI is right. That my wisdom supersedes any knowledge that he may have learned in Stanford. Okay, so he has laid it down. So Al Mission accomplished, my friend. He put the hit piece on you, and now here's his taps video. So, Noisy Corax, sit the fuck down. Now, he had a part in message. Even though he conceded, he had one question that he had for me and all the other AMC and Ape shareholders. Now, I want you to hear the clip from his video, and then I'm going to tell you about Rosa Parks and the AMC movement, okay? Watch this. Even if the record date is before the conversion date, you still get your conversion that goes through and then a whole day, a post-market and a pre-market before the settlement distribution is handed out and the dilution begins. So if you can get off the bus before the last stop and get stuck at the station, um, what, what injury is there to someone who is in that. And you might say, well, as an ape holder, I would hold and then that would be injurious to me. But if you had the option to get off the bus and you get stuck at the main bus terminal and have to walk home, that's a you decision. Now, let me interject something here. Since you bring up the bus, okay, and that what he's trying to communicate to us people is that anywhere along this stop, August 14th, August 24th, August 25th, we can get off this bus at any time before the 28th, and there's in, no will be no harm done to us. But let's get something straight, Noisy. That was one of the worst examples you could have gave to us about get the fuck up off the bus. Who do you think you're talking to? This is our play. This is a squeeze play. The arbitragers moved in and they think that now they're going to tell us that we need to get up out of our seat, give the seat to them, and then get off before we get hurt. Who the fuck does this man think he is? Rosa Parks didn't get up off her fucking seat off and get off the bus even though there was danger. And let me say this, is that when I heard the analogy of the bus, I thought of Rosa Parks, and then I watched Teal the other day, and I told everybody I was wanting to make this video for y'all, that, listen people, it wasn't blacks versus whites in the 1950s and 60s. It wasn't racism, but it was being fought. It was a class warfare. It was against people who said that they were better than another group of people. That there were different rules for them as there was for the rich and so forth. And the white and the powerful. Alright, it was class warfare back then and it's class warfare right now. And they want us to do the same thing. Get up out of our seat and get off the bus before we get hurt. When they faced off against the evil that was on the other side of the bridge in Selma, they didn't flinch because there might be danger on the other side. They went through it, and we're going through it. And if, if you stand in our way, then we'll go through you too. So, it's like my friend says, we're going to ride this motherfucker till the wheels come off. And then if it does, Courtesy Flush is on board with us, and he said he knows how to change a flat. So with that, I love y'all. Be blessed. Understand, this is a battle between class warfare, and now they're telling us, get off the bus. <laughs> love y'all. Be blessed. See you in the next video.